Alright, welcome to Sierra Games Scott's uh, Let's Play, The Gold Rush. Uh, we are playing for real this time. As mentioned, we're a bit on the clock, so we have to move expeditiously. Uh, however, there is a decent amount of um, give in this game that we can, if we know what to do, and I do, because I've played before, I've taken a look at a walkthrough, even though it might not uh, seem that way when I foul up the text parser. Um, I, um, we won't be too crunched for time, but I do want to make sure that we have enough time, particularly when we save right before the Gold Rush occurs, that we can get where we need to go um, later on when we play it through again in order to uh, make sure we can get the tickets to the right place. So we have to unlock all these things, which is kind of annoying. Some of the doors here you can just walk through, but if they're locked you have to actually type in unlock, which I always found was a little irritating, but I guess it adds a level of realism, um, even though you don't have to type open door, which is somewhat odd. Anyway, we are in the house. Uh, we are in Jared's house, and it actually belonged to the family. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a look at this book. One thing I'm going to do, is, which is actually an album, I'm actually going to do some reading in this game. And um, the reason for that is that we actually, it's a shorter game. It's not as dialogue rich as Quest for Glory 3. If you watched that, you know that I just kind of summarized everything. But anything that's important, I think I will read. It's not as difficult. You don't have to do it as many sort of funny voices um, that other Let's Play folks have done with Sierra games. And, um,. I think it, it's appropriate for this game, um, but I'm certainly not going to read everything, minor messages and things like that. I think we can skim through. Anyway, um, we've opened the photo album, and it says, Memories, Memories, Memories. Every time you look at this album, it brings back memories. The album begins with a painting of your father and his best man, Mr. Quail, the bank president, shaking hands after the wedding. You can't help but remember the help Mr. Quail was during the years after your parents' death. He raised you and your brother, Jake, until you could live on your own. Here is a painting of your older brother, Jake, when he was just a baby. You often think of Jake wondering where he is and what he is doing. And just across the page is a painting of you. You must have been about 18 months old. And finally you see a photo of your entire family together. You remember the excitement of posing together in front of the camera. Is a very, a very special photo to you, which is a hint to take that photo. And okay, there's not too much to do in this house. It's, we're gonna go. This is the bedroom. We look. Th not too much to see. It's the only bed there. As a child, um, we slept in the attic with our brother Jake. So obviously not a very big house. And we're gonna learn a little bit more about our parents' death, as was mentioned, and our brother and his plight. Um, a little bit later in the game, uh, but not before we leave the city. So um, this is sort of counterintuitive, but we actually have to close the desk to get what we need, and we are going to take the statement, which is actually our bank statement. And uh, we've pretty much exhausted what we need to do in the house. Uh, this is a kitchen back here. You can't really see too much. It doesn't open up into anything. This is a closet. Um, in a lot of these Sierra games, they really expect you to explore a lot, um, and so it's kind of throws you a little bit off, and which is why you can kill a lot of time, but really it's uh, just an ordinary house, um, so, which is one of the things that makes this different than some of the other games, as I mentioned. Um, in other games, there's all sorts of interesting things, where it's just really just supposed to be reality. It's a house, and a house is a house, pretty much. So, um, But it, it does have sentimental value, but we were actually going to sell the house. Now, I think what the game wants you to do is the game wants you to sort of... Um, realize they have to go out west at some point um, when we find out something else. Um, I'm doing that now um, just so to make sure we get the money in time. Um, with these games I'm not look necessarily looking for maximum points and the reason I'm not looking for maximum points um, is I just want to get through, I don't want to just get through the game, I want to have a good time and I want uh, people to enjoy it but um, I, I think um, just not making errors is a, bigger, is a bigger issue and one of the errors you can make is not selling your house in time and that um, really could foul up the game and cause me to go back and sort of things. So anyway, there's going to be a guy coming by who's going to want to buy the house. I don't. I might have to wait a little while. We might actually have to come back. But I'm going to wait a little while with the game paused and see if he comes. And if not, we'll um, end up going somewhere else and waiting until build later. So hold on. To Okay, we are back. I waited a little bit while I went back and forth through some of the screens, and nobody showed up. So we may have to do something else in the game to trigger it, or wait till a little bit more time elapses. Is uh, one of the interesting things about this game is um, it actually does keep track of the time. We're at three minutes and fifty-seven seconds in. As I mentioned, we have until fourteen before the gold rush is declared. And whoa, that's our man right there. There we go. Okay, so he actually kind of walks in off screen, which is kind of cool. Um, adds a little bit level of realism, which is one of the things I said I appreciate about this game. And we're going to talk to this man. And the real estate man says, You were fortunate to own such a fine piece of property. I'd like 
this property, and I'm willing to pay you top dollar. Will you accept eight hundred fifty in cash for your house? The teller, uh, we don't care about him. Um, the real limits, you're f okay. We're talking to the guy again. Sorry about that. Um, and we say definitely yes, um, because that's the best you can get. And congratulations, property value is at the premium. We've conducted a prime sale. We are sad, but you're but our house is gone. But you'll always have the memories. Indeed, we will. And eight hundred fifty bucks. And Mr. Kale. Quail will come along to pick up my personal belongings. So, um, that's an interesting hint. I actually didn't read that carefully in the past. I've been trying, you can actually talk to Mr. Quail, and I've been trying to talk to him about everything possible, and the game just won't respond. So I wonder if we ask him to pick up our personal belongings, or personal effects, if that's what we need to ask him. And we will find that out. Um, one of the things I need to do a little hard with the 2D graphics is you want to avoid those stagecoaches. They will plow right over you and end your game. However, you just want to avoid walking on the grass because doing so will actually end up uh, getting you fined. And every time you're fined, you actually lose one point. Not a huge deal, but I would not that I'm going for maximum points. But on the other hand, I'm also not um, trying to lose points, so I'm just going to try to avoid that. Um, and it's kind of annoying. It's not too much, not too interesting. Apparently, the police will have nothing better to do in Brooklyn this time uh, than pick up people for walking on the grass. Um, so it must have been a very good time, if this is realistic at all. A uh, good time to live in New York City, or at least in Brooklyn Heights. Um, if the worst thing people have to worry about is uh, people walking on the grass, I'm sure uh, folks in New York would be uh, thrilled if uh, that was the biggest concern they had right now, or any other major city. Okay, we have a letter. Uh, thanks. I don't think we have to do it, but we'll be polite, even though I guess there's no Paladin quests, which is a reference to Quest for Glory 3, if you um, uh, have not watched that. Alright, so we'll take the mail, and, uh, and we'll, we'll read it afterwards, um, so we can try to get in a trip to the bank. It is fairly important, but I don't think we... Since we're at the bank here, let's do something else, and then um, we can maybe start off the next video with it, since we're coming a little bit up on uh, the end of the video, though we still have some time. Okay, so what we want to do is look at the statement, and 42 is our bank account number, and it actually changes every time you play the game, so if you play this game, uh, don't type in 42, make sure to get the statement and look at it, um, otherwise you won't get your money. Alrighty, uh, so there we go. And that's 200 bucks. And so that's all the money you really can get here. Oh, and we want to see if we can talk to the president. And see maybe if... I do not know what to say to him. I've had a hard time, but we'll see if we can get him to pick up our personal effects. That's the only thing I've never tried. Alright, it says, excuse me, Mr. Quayle, there's a gentleman here that would like to see you. Not again. Don't they realize I'm a busy man? I'll be right there. So he's not too thrilled to get disturbed, but he likes us, I think, so. Well, hello, Jared. What can I help you with today? Um, can we just say personal belongings? Um, can you just say get stuff? Tell... Hmm. Tell house? So you can't do tell about or ask about. Um, so let me just pause the video for one second and see if I can get that uh, taken care of. If not, um, we'll just uh, uh, hold on to that for now. Anyway, we'll be right. Okay, folks, we are back, and I have tried. I tried everything I think I can remember. Uh, one of the things I'd like to mention, though, is if you know what to do, what to ask him, we'll be coming back this way, as I mentioned, to do the second and third um, trips uh, on the boat. We're going to do the stagecoach this round. If you know what to do for um, that, um, please leave a message in the comment. Leave me a personal message. Uh, let me know somehow. Um, what we're supposed to say to that bank president, or is that just a glitch in the game that they forgot to edit out? I'm not sure. Um, in any event, um, I'd love to know, um, and we can handle it the next time we're back in Brooklyn, uh, ready to make our second voyage. What we are ready to do, though, is we're ready to take our voyage from this Let's Play. Uh, so hopefully I see you next time. We'll take a look at an envelope. We'll take a look at a couple more things, and we'll probably head, our, head out of Brooklyn. So uh, take care for now. Bye.